love using our hastelings. As mentioned in our build movie, a good release is an absolute must. A hastling will firmly hold 300 pounds of hay, and that's exactly what we want. But then you've got a big ball of hay 20 feet overhead dangling from the rafters. So how do you get that sling to let go? That's the point of this little device. This secures the two halves of the hay slings together at the bottom center of the load. And when you open this up, the two halves are free to separate again. Here are some extra details about the sling releases we use. This is our Hudson sling release. We have a metal ring here that we hook in that holds this ring in place. The release rope is tied with a knot to pull through here. And the rope runs up over the center pulley down here. This is what the rope pulls on. So when you pull the rope, it pulls that down which releases the tooth. So this comes, the ring fits in here, and then it snaps shut, held in place until the rope is pulled and it releases. This is our boss sling release. When you pull on the release rope, how it opens up the release. The boss ring, so it fits in like that. And then when the release is pulled, it opens and drops out. That's how the sling release is cast, is to have this area down here around the collar for the ropes to run. There are a number of other styles of releases and sling-specific metal rings. They are often available on eBay. Here is an example of one I looked up. Unlike ours, it came with a few J-bolts and some additional rings. Hi, I'm Simon. And I'm Heather, and we call this Cozy Cow Farm. We're not really farmers. <laughs> but I'm a farmer. We just bought the farmhouse with the land, ooh, ooh. got some chickens, <laughs> then we added some cows. And we're still trying to figure out what we're doing. So subscribe to join us on our journey of trying to learn this. Or comment and let us know what you'd like to see. Yeah.